How does testing work in DevOps? Here's a secret for you. It doesn't. Or rather, it's just the last in a long sequence of things that need to go right in order for you to provide valuable, high-quality products to your users. Here's a secret for you. When I started my freelancing career, I thought I was going to be a QA person, you know, a tester. It's something I know how to do. It's fun. I like it. I feel that it's important. So I decided, you know, this is going to be my freelance career. Until I realized it was a terrible idea because I can't come in at the last second after the product has already been created and then you know, test quality or correctness or usefulness into it. I, you know, I, I just can't if, you know, if we take this sort of very traditionalist view of software development as a series of stages, I can't come in at the last stage over here and say, oh yeah, this is, this is where the quality happens. This is not how it works, is it? Uh, I know that a lot of you have heard of this and thought about it a lot, but I think it goes deeper than you think because like, where, where does testing begin? How does testing work in DevOps? Well, guess what? It begins over here before you start building your product. And then it kind of continues all the way through the development effort as a continuous undercurrent. As you're envisioning your product, you should think about, okay, how can I validate this? How can I verify? As you start architecting and getting more concrete, you should think, okay, how am I going to approach this from a testing perspective? As you build the system, you should build unit tests while you're at it, of course, and also sort of think about, okay, how can we do high level tests? What are, what are our acceptance criteria? How can we tell what matters and whether we've reached it? and so on and so on, until finally you get to what might be called the testing stage, sort of right at the end. And this should be the most boring stage in the entire product process, because it should be the stage with no surprises at all. Maybe you run a bunch of tests here, you know, now you've got like this amazing test suite of, of automated tests, but you should already know beforehand, well, guess what? They're going to be green. Of course they will be. What else should they be? Because we've been worrying about quality all along. So this is how testing works in DevOps. Because it's not a single phase and it's not some single person's responsibility, it is the responsibility of quality, I should say, is the responsibility of the entire team the entire time. And if you do it this way, then it actually becomes fairly straightforward to create good quality products because there are no surprises. The same thing, by the way, goes for security, for instance. Security is not an afterthought. Of course, you all know that. It needs to be considered from the beginning. It needs to be architected in. It needs to be developed in. It needs to be proven again and again that, yes, we can build this in a safe way, and we have done so. So to sum it up, in DevOps, testing is not an activity per se is not a phase, it's mostly a mindset. Testing, quality, all of these things are just about agreeing that we care about this and we want to do something about it. And the rest will take care of itself.